Seriously, another video about the Wan 2.1 model? Yes, another one. And this time we're going head to head with the Hunyuan model, and we're going to do this over at Kriya.ai because they've got the perfect interface to do side by side comparisons, plus you get the sound effects, which is always a delight. The generations are fast and they're high resolution, so let's get into the comparison. Before we get started, if you're not familiar with the Kriya platform and you're interested in generative AI, you should probably get familiar with the Kriya platform because they have some of the most cutting edge tools that are out there right now. It's one of my favorite platforms in terms of an all-in-one, although it doesn't answer every need I have as a creator. It answers a lot of them. Extremely high fast image generation with Flux. It has in painting ability so you can do some really high end editing. All different types of real time image generation and image enhancement and video upscale. It's a ton of stuff. We've talked about various areas of Kriya on this channel several times before, but right now we're using the AI video generation tool. We just go under video and it defaults to a new session up here, which is just fine. Here we have a seemingly ever-growing list of AI video models. Today we're looking at Hunyuan and WAN 2.1 or WAN 2.1. The reason that we're looking at these in particular is that these are actually open source models that you can run, as we talked about in a recent video, on your own system if you have the hardware to support it. And actually the WAN model is not as GPU intensive as I may have suggested in the last video. It can just be much slower on GPUs that have less VRAM in them. But you can run them on extremely low VRAM. I've heard people talking about doing it at three and a half to six gigabytes of VRAM running locally, just be prepared to wait and have lower resolution outputs. But I'm doing it myself now on my 3090 and I'm getting 800 by 354 resolutions that are great. They just take 10 minutes or whatever and it's way faster to do them over here at Kriya. I'm assuming I don't need to tell you this, but here's how it works. You type in what you want to see in the video. A cat jumps onto a table in an Italian restaurant where Bigfoot is eating spaghetti. We have the option for 720p and that's what we're using. So I'm going to choose that and then we can choose our aspect ratio. I personally like landscape and we'll start with the Honeywin model. It renders in a much quicker amount of time and we'll click on generate and you'll see that we have about two minutes before that happens. Meanwhile, if you have a paid plan, you can go right ahead and choose the next model that you want to use and start a generation. Right now, I'm working on credits alone that I've had in my account for a while, but I'm not currently on a plan, but I'm still able to generate these animations and I'm assuming it's because these two models are open source anyway. So we're just using their compute power that we've already paid for or have in our account for whatever reason and that's going towards the making of these videos. And they don't seem to take a ton of credits I don't know the exact number. As we're looking at the preview, we can see we did not get Bigfoot here. Now, this is the Hunyuan model. I've definitely done videos with Bigfoot, so I know he's in there somewhere. But for whatever reason, he didn't show up. Perhaps I should have said Big Furry Bigfoot. But we're going to compare it with Juan to see what it comes up with. I will say that sometimes that two-minute promise and then the four-minute promise they give you with the Juan model, they sometimes break that. But here is the first prompt here. The cat jumps onto a table in an Italian restaurant where Bigfoot is eating spaghetti. We're not getting Bigfoot. And I don't think it's obvious what's going on here. The cat's kind of blurring and tearing. So let's just see what Juan 2.1 does. We'll submit that and it is expecting five minutes. To add sound to any of the videos that you create over on the Korea platform, you just click on add sound and it looks at every frame of the video and will synchronize the best of its ability with what's going on in the actual video. And most of the time it does a fantastic job. Other times it's just weird and way off, but let's see what it did here. It only takes a few seconds to generate. I'm always particularly impressed with the lip sync. It always matches with whatever the garbage is that it's coming out. That's not actually any language. Here's what we got with the WAN 2.1 model. So we do have Bigfoot. We do have a cat jumping up on the table. Bigfoot is eating spaghetti. I just feel like that the prompt adherence is a little bit better here with Juan because, well, I mean, we got freaking Bigfoot. So because it's so easy just to crank these out, I did about a dozen side-by-side -side comparisons between the WAN 2.1 model and the Hunyuan model with the exact same prompt with no embellishments or changes to suit the model or anything like that. And you're seeing the first generation of both of them. So nothing's cherry-picked. This is just what came out of it the first time I did it. And by the way, there are no trigger warnings for this particular set of videos like last time. Just a reminder that the audio is 100% generated by the add audio feature that I showed you before. Before. We didn't do any other adding of sound effects or music to any of this. So if you love it, isn't AI great? And if you hate it, sorry, it's AI.
The prompt on this is a skeleton wearing a flower hat and sunglasses dances in the wild at sunset. This is the Hanyuan model. Here's the same prompt with the Wan 2.1 model. And Wan 2.1. Okay, this is the Hanyuan model. The prompt here is a stunning supermodel reclines on cream leather seats in a luxurious Gulfstream G650, bathed in warm cabin lighting, hyper realistic details capture reflections on polished surfaces, elegant champagne flutes, designer luggage, and city lights twinkling through oval windows. Now, I'm reading these prompts where appropriate if they're not too long, just so you can see whether or not the model adhered to the prompt or not. In this case, it did an excellent job. That's one of the things that these models are both known for. And here's the WAN version of that same prompt. So I'm not going to make any judgment calls myself on these, necessarily, because for the most part I want you to judge for yourself which you think is the better result. But spoiler alert, they both do great and to me there's no clear winner. Here's the Hanyuan model and it is a miniature multicolored translucent squid swimming in an elaborately decorated large aquarium situated on a kitchen table. Here's the wand version. Notice how I'm not asserting my opinion at all. So here's Hanyuan again, followed by Wan. I demonstrated this particular clip in the last video I did about the Hanyuan model, but now we're comparing it with the Wan model, and the prompt is a whimsical world where miniature chefs are constructing a mushroom omelet. A group of the chefs holds up the upper layer of a folded omelet as another chef drags freshly cut mushrooms into the inside as fillings. And this is what the Hanyuan model did. And here is the Wan model. A whimsical world where miniature chefs are constructing a mushroom omelet. A group of the chefs holds up the upper layer of a folded omelet as another chef drags freshly cut mushrooms into the inside as fillings. Here's the Wan model again. The prompt is simply, man eats blueberry cheesecake as fast as he can making a mess. And here's the Hanyuan model. So, Wan model, and Hanyuan model. All right, we're looking at the Wan model now, and this is old VHS footage of a religious TV show where an elderly woman with gray-brown curly hair and glasses standing next to a taller teenage girl who is blonde, 80s perm, who looks angry and bored, wearing a Sunday church dress from the 1980s. They each have microphones and are singing into microphones with no expression on their face on a cable access television show. Anybody know what I'm referencing? If you do, go tell it on the mountain. Here's the same prompt with the Hanyuan model. One. Hanyuan. <laughs> it's catchy, isn't it? This prompt was just a modification of the other one, old VHS footage of a religious TV show where an elderly man with thinning hair and thick glasses playing ukulele, standing next to an anthropomorphic bear, playing accordion, and wearing a denim vest who looks angry and bored. They each have microphones and are singing blah blah. This is the Wan model. And here's the Hanyuan model. <laughs> Hanyuan. <laughs> so this is the Wan model, and the prompt was anthropomorphic panda bear grilling steaks by a luxurious swimming pool in the frozen Arctic. Everything is ice and snow. And here's what Hanyuan gave me, which is way more cartoony in nature. So here's Wan, and without trying to put too much of an opinion, this is what I was looking for. And Hanyuan, even when I ran this locally, always wanted to make it a cartoon. I wanted to see if it recognized celebrities, and Oprah seems to be in most of these models that have celebrities. So this is the Hanyuan model, and the prompt is, Oprah Winfrey is petting a cat who keeps biting her in the face. So it's not really Oprah. And the cat's really not biting her in the face either. Here is the Wan model, also not Oprah. And we're doing a little bit better job of trying to bite her in the face. So Hanyuan. 
and one. Now this does look a little over AI and shiny there, which is atypical, but it did seem to follow the prompt a little bit better than this. What we're looking at is the Honey One model. I used a service that created a really long prompt for it, which is completely impractical for me to read here. But suffice it to say, it fully described the scenario and what he's wearing. I'll just read you the subject part of the prompt. A Caucasian man in his mid-30s wearing rectangular glasses and a striking mustard yellow three-piece suit paired with a light blue dress shirt and patterned navy tie. He displays an exaggerated facial expression with raised eyebrows and slightly parted lips while standing with his hands in his pockets. We don't see his hands in this render, but everything else we've got, I think. It followed the prompt very well. But this is what Juan did with it, and I want to say an extra something about this. As I said, the prompt for this was generated by another service, which looked at an original image to decide how to describe this one. And this is the image that it was actually describing. And then this is the video that the Juan model created from that description. So it followed the description really well. And I don't think it's a stretch to say that this is way closer to the original than what the Honeywin model did with the very same description. So that is really pretty impressive. And keep in mind while we're watching this that both of these models are free and open source. And I really don't think I'm projecting wishful thinking on this to say that these rival the professional solutions out there in terms of the output quality and definitely when it comes to prompt adherence. Okay, we're looking at the Honeywin model here. Again, this was created with one of these really, really long prompts which went into great detail about describing the environment and all of that. But the basic subject is a chimpanzee stands upright at a chalkboard in a teaching pose with dark brown fur covering its body. The chimp's arm is extended, pointing at writing on the board, mimicking a traditional teaching stance. Okay, so I hope you paid attention to what that said. That was the Hunyuan model. Here's what Juan did with it. A chimpanzee stands upright at a chalkboard in a teaching pose with dark brown fur covering its body. The chimp's arm is extended, pointing at writing on the board, mimicking a traditional teaching stance. And once again, I want to point out the original image that was used to create the text description that created these. Because even though WAN 2.1 does have an image to video model, that's not what we're using here. Everything here is text to video. Here's the original image that was described to Juan to create this video. So even down to the direction he's pointing and everything. Now this was actually supposed to be Bigfoot and it translated it into a chimpanzee, but that's forgivable enough if it's just looking at this. And of course the Honeywin model starting position is way different. It's still a good video. It doesn't follow the prompt to the level of extreme detail that the Juan model seems to be doing here. The prompt is, it is a humid night and an ultra-realistic HD fat, sweaty, scary clown is playing the ukulele sitting on a park bench as a group of pigeons gather and listen, cinematic and with an eerie, unsettling mood. Yep. So here's the WAN model. And kind of like that other one, we see a little bit more AI looking stuff. It looks a little bit more plasticky here. But aside from that, the movement's solid. There's no tearing. It's creepy. It followed the prompt. I freaking love both of them. We're going to wrap it up with this one. This is the Hunyuan model. And again, this came from a very long prompt. But the basic subject is two grotesque skeletal creatures with elongated skulls, gaping jaws filled with sharp teeth, and writhing tentacle-like appendages emerging from their faces. Their emaciated bodies feature exposed bone structures and sinewy pale green tissue. Mmm. Again, this is the Hunyuan model. Here's the WAN 2.1 version and the lovely sound effects generated by the Korea platform. So, WAN 2.1 and Hunyuan. So there you have it, a side-by-side -side of the text-to-video capabilities of the Hunyuan model and the WAN 2.1 model in an environment where you can really make it shine and get results in just a couple of minutes. If these are the types of things you like to learn about, well, why not subscribe to the channel? It's free. It's easy. And these are the types of things we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will...